Hey guys, I'm here with Susan Haypatrick and Nancy uh, De La... Uh, De Pestino. De Pestino. Sorry <laughs> about okay. that. It's okay. I always mess something up. Uh, all right, so everybody you, should be named Patrick because totally. it's so much easier. Right. Right. <laughs> so you guys are here to talk about uh, Project uh, Tomorrow Montana, yeah. and there's a bunch of events happening this weekend as well. Um, if you miss one, there's a double dip of, of these two things happening on tonight and Saturday, which is right. the... Uh, Every brilliant thing, right? And that's going to be hosted by a, a Blackfoot Blackfoot mm -hmm. Communications. Yep. And who's going to be the speaker? It's a one-actor play, uh, starring oh. local actor Rosie Seitz Ayers, who's been in many productions around town. And it's uh, an acclaimed comedy. The playwright describes it as the funniest thing you'll ever see about the least funny subject in the world, which is depression and suicide. Right. And it is very important to talk about this in any kind of situation because not talking about it is a, a huge issue in itself as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And I think Project Tomorrow, uh, Project Tomorrow um, is a great, great resource for a lot of people. And it's, this is about its uh, first year, a uh, first official year? Um, it's the first year that we've really been the principal sponsor of Suicide Prevention Week right. activities. We've always been involved, but this year we really took it on along with the good folks at St. Pat's who are sponsoring the Out of the Darkness Walk right. next Saturday. Um, but do you want to talk about the play a little bit? Sure. What the, Rosie's been doing? Yeah, the play is really an incredible and uplifting um, performance and it I promise it will make you laugh and cry. It's about somebody who's naming every single thing there is to live for for her mom who's in crisis. And um, it's a really beautiful story. Um, Rosie does an incredible job. So we're really excited to put it on tonight and tomorrow night at MCT for free. Um, you can go to the United Way website to sign up and reserve a seat, or you can come and show up tonight and we'll, I'm pretty sure there'll be a spot for you. MissoulaUnitedWay.org, um, and there then go. there's a link. To and then, of course, Project uh, Tomorrow, Tomorrow MT. MT. Right. right. Yep. But of course, you can always Google and you can find pretty much anything. Right. You know. it's, uh, I've heard that. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, thanks, guys. I just want to also mention that there's also uh, a class to look for signs and have questions yeah. and stuff right. like that, which happening on Sunday and Monday. Yeah, we have these, we have a lot of events happening for. Um, for Suicide Prevention Week, you can go to Project Tomorrow Montana on our Facebook page and see this schedule of events. That's lovely. Um, you might see these posters up around town. We have QPR trainings, which is, stands for Question, Persuade, Refer, and it's a suicide intervention training meant for anybody 15 and older um, that our health department offers for free. Any organization who wants to be trained in this um, can um, call our office and, and have us come out and do that. And it's really just, uh, it teaches you how to ask the hard question of, are right. you suicidal? Um, and open up that conversation and let somebody know that you're there to help them. Yes. People are often afraid to ask the question that can save a life, uh, are you depressed yeah. or suicidal? Because they think they'll put that thought in someone's head. Exactly. But really, the, all the evidence is that the person who is depressed or suicidal is really desperate for someone to reach out and help them. Yeah. yeah. And like, of course, you know, all, all these sheets have, you know, uh, they have a text line. You know, like some people, like when right. it comes to suicide, they don't like talking about it, but they they're more, uh, they're, it's easier for them to maybe come to out text. with a text, yes. right. you know, because, you know, calling somebody in general is kind of like this. Right, we don't do that, that anymore. Yeah, no, yeah. One, does, no one does yeah. that anymore. Who texts anyways? <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, there is a hotline, of course. Um, so there's a prevention office. And uh, then, of course, the hotline is 1-800-273-TALK, uh, uh, which is right. otherwise known as 8255. Once again, that number is one 800 273 8255. Right. Or people can text MT to 741-741 if they prefer the text line. Yep. And then again, that text number is, you just text MT to 741-741. So That's you it. just type it in twice. Yep. Great. So um, one of the, many of these events that are happening on here, of course, uh, September is Suicide Awareness Month. Right. Um, and this is an event that's happening for the beginning part. And also you, there's going to be a proclamation next Monday right. about this as well. That's going to be read by uh, the mayor. Yes. Of the city council. Yes, and MCAT is so great about covering city council, so your viewers will be able to see that too. Awesome. Well, is there anything else? I think we covered a lot of stuff what's happening this weekend as well, but I know that there is the final deal, which is out of the darkness walk. Right. Which is happening a week from tomorrow. Right, and that raises funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, 
which is one of those amazing, successful national organizations that does a lot of research, um, provides materials, develops things like best practice media guidelines, which you have just followed by uh, always giving out the lifeline and text line when you do a story discussing suicide. So we're happy in Missoula to field a team to walk in memory of or in honor of someone who has taken their own life by suicide and raise money for AFSP. Nice. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Um, thanks, Scott. Well, I just wanted to mention that all of our events this week are free. Um, they're all, all the schedule, all the events that are on the schedule are open to the public. Um, so I encourage you to go find the schedule on our Facebook page or online um, and join us. Nice. Well, thank you guys very yeah. much for joining us.